identify this BBC BBC show about the first modern lesbian, and she was named Fred by her lover. And but the neighbors gave her a nickname, which might now remind you of an alcohol brand. So <laughs> yay to lesbians and alcohol and keeping us drunk. It's my favorite brand, so I'm not complaining. I've been says teachers. No, it's not teachers. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers is not the nickname that the neighbors gave the first modern lesbian. Oh uh, yeah, so the show is Gentleman Jack. Absolutely. Vivek, go ahead. Yeah, so the show is Gentleman Jack. I haven't watched it, but I will. It's uh, amazing. It's yeah. Really so, Sakshi, you want to tell us something about the show? Yes, some trivia. So you know, uh, here the character does not. So the character is of a very very strong woman, right? um at a time where women were supposed at a time in britain where women were supposed to be timid uh, you know get to a certain age just get married have children which pretty much resounds what still happens in india but anyways um uh, but yeah so it's a of, of a very strong strong woman who wants to take charge and not left behind and uh, you know happens to be in love with other women um and you know does not want to be a man and is not portrayed as such mm-hmm. as wanting to be man and this is certain like sometimes we like early on that was the depiction in most of most lesbians in most shows or films even outside india where they wanted to put as if a woman is trying to be a man sort of a thing or fill his shoes but here it's just a very strong character and uh, and it's been played amazingly well and uh, i think it's just it's just beautiful and you and being a lesbian and though not in the same environment um, but you can just relate to it instantly uh, you know because you spoke about gentleman jack i was reminded of uh, this author called sarah waters and the books that she writes oh, yeah. uh, which have uh, lesbian love there's finger smith there is affinity tipping the velvet and they are all based in victorian london and uh, you know or uh, of the days gone by and and the relationship dynamics there yeah and i think chinmay has uh, a fun fact about uh, lister using some lgbtq books so maybe you would chinmay would you like to speak and talk about it there's a korean version of finger smith okay. that uh, i'm saying for your personal oeuvre viewing <laughs> okay <laughs> uh akila had something to share as well who's a fan of the show akila go ahead Oh hi. Uh, so more than Gentleman Jack, it's just a story of Anne Lister. Yes, please. And basically, I think in eighteen thirty three or eighteen thirty four, she actually got married to her to her lover at that point. I think Anne, another Anne, and they got married in a church. Like, and it was the first recorded lesbian wedding in the UK, at least. And the interesting fact that I had is that the blue plaque that marks this church, you know, like in the UK, they have these blue plaque to mark historic spots. historical spot so this one has a rainbow border to basically signify that it's of importance in lgbtq history so that was my fact two points to you akila for that um in the show of- they show that in the in the show as well um they discussed together i mean that's where it ended the last season of them discussing to get married in this particular church where they visit and uh, you know have the desire to get married there chinmay you want to say something you had a fact yeah so my fact is that uh, when lesta used to approach women and see if her advances would be successful or would be invited she used to discuss lgbtq especially by this roman poet known name as juvenal just to see if like how the other person reacts and are they open to the idea or not. oh can you repeat the name please juvenal j u v e n a l oh thank you uh, sanya you also have something to share uh, Hello, hi. Yes. Can you? Uh, hi, guys. Yes. So uh, we've been talking about like books and movies and all. So I uh, random trivia. So the game, uh, The Last of Us. Have you ever heard of it? Yes, yes, so, of course. Yeah. So The Last of Us Part Two came out like last week, and it has the I think the first lesbian uh, representation. The main character is a lesbian woman. and it's the highest selling game of all time and uh, like it's got 10 out of 10 all across the board from yeah. every reviewer so it's like a huge it's a big deal cuz games are actually notorious to be extremely sexist 
<laughs> and this game is the it is they are like yeah. Grand Theft Auto. It's the highest selling game of all time. I feel like that game. It was not supposed to come out during Pride Month, but it got postponed uh, because of the coronavirus. And I feel like it's such a beautiful like coincidence that it came out last week. So yeah, that was my fact. Yeah, that's a great uh, fact, Sanya. And it's an interesting uh, segue into representation of LGBTQ in video games and other parts of culture, which we don't usually talk about. Yeah. Two points to Sanya uh, and everyone else, uh, Shivatsan, uh, Abid as well. Yeah. I had uh, one extra piece to share about Anne Lister. Uh, so the diaries which is there on the poster there. Uh, she actually had to write quite a bit of it in a weird code. Uh, I forgot what exactly compromised it. It was some bit of Greek, etc. So the coded parts were the, let's say, NSFW, if you would put it in a modern context. Uh, just an extra bit of trivia. Sure. Thank you. Shri Watson reminds everyone that Gentleman Jack is the show is available on Hotstars for those of you who want to catch it. Uh, Zabe has a recommendation of another show on Netflix called Elisa and Marcella about the first same-sex marriage in Spain. She says it's not the best movie but interesting enough. <laughs>